<laughs> I'm just reading here that Belgium is planning to ban smartphones in schools like other countries have already done. Belgian students will have to hand over their phones for the whole day, only getting it back at the end of the school day. Well, mostly in Wallonia, but also in some schools in East Flanders. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> schools hope this will reduce the amount of distractions, restore human interaction, and make the students more active during breaks. Phones aren't that distracting, are they? <laughs> well, how will the students survive without their phone during the day? You uh, tell me. It's interesting, isn't it? Probably not very well. Hoe dan ze erop reageren? Ja, ik, ik denk dat sommigen hun er beter mee kunnen omgaan dan anderen. Hè. Not in universities. No, universities so not yet. <laughs> so it has nothing to do with me. <laughs> Yeah, I, <laughs> I think that the students are probably slaves, right? I don't think it's necessarily a, a bad thing. It's bad to say to children, like, you can't do this, you can't do that, because that makes children just want to do it even more. But I think there's definitely a problem with overuses of smartphones, definitely in school. School is a place where you have to connect, learn new things, meet new people. Uh, you can't do that if you're constantly on your smartphone. Yeah, yeah. If, if you today bus not come, what you need to you call your mama or papa or if you ban the phones, no one gonna take a phone on home. It's gonna be problems. If if something happens at school, he cannot call mother or father or I don't know. Hoe denk je dat de studenten hun dag gaan overleven zonder een uh, toestel? Ik denk dat er uh, veel een tweede toestel gaan kopen. <laughs> Het is eigenlijk niet slecht, vind ik. Zo zijn ze wel meer bij de les om het zo te zeggen. Ik vind het een goed initiatief. Voor school zullen ze het ook nodig hebben. Het zal ook een mooi gebruiksmiddel zijn, maar ja, ik denk dat het wel goed is. Want ze zitten eigenlijk meer op de telefoon dan de... Als ik mijn dochter moet hebben en, en ik bel het, dan neemt ze het nooit op. <laughs> maar als ze de hele dag met de telefoon in de hand zit. It's good for students learning in school, because you can help them focus on their schoolwork. Most of kids, when they are young, they don't have enough self-control to stay away from all the temptations on the internet. So I think it's a good policy. It might be good for the teachers, but maybe not so good for the for the pupils and the learners. It's distracting, isn't it? And if it's distracting their learning, then maybe they should be taken off them. I think it's uh, also it has a benefit, but it's also the bad for the kids. I think mm -hmm. because. Uh, it's very important for, yeah, they need to learn how to use it or, or they need to manage the times to using it. So like, <laughs> they should not risk it. I think it's mainly to do with time usage and perhaps a bit of bullying as well, because it's a whole new way of bullying people. Experts say that this will also tackle the growing issue of cyberbullying, which was estimated to impact 20% of Belgian kids in 2022. I'm reading here that a Norwegian study showed that banning smartphones in schools reduced mental health issues, particularly for girls. The study also says that overall, students' academic performance increased. Actually, UNESCO has already been calling for a smartphone ban in schools since 2023. There we are. If you know, if 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 research is showing that it's actually having an improvement, then why not? When you're young and you use especially the social media and everything is in reach, but you don't get the context of how the world exists, then you get the different and maybe wrong approaches of how you have to understand news or things that happen in the world. Yeah, kijk, it is iets wat wat je niet meer weg kunt denken. Uh, uh, ja, er wordt mee geleefd, noem ik het wel eens. Maar ik denk als je zonder kan, wat, wat eerder maar net zegt, ja, dan zie je ook de dingen om je heen. Ik denk wel dat het momenteel problematisch is bij velen. Uh, je ziet dat ook als je op straat loopt, dat er velen constant op die gsm zitten. Op de bussen, op de trams, uh, overal eigenlijk. Uh, ja, ik zit ook een beetje om me heen te kijken, want alle jeugd heeft de telefoon in de hand en alle oude mensen lopen gewoon lekker te kijken. Ik denk dat ze rechts aan verslaafd zijn. Dat is denk ik wel een gevaarlijke situatie. Ja. Ja. When we go back in the time, there is uh, only Nokia like this shit. That is not more like uh, 2024 like now. 
No, now he can live calling each other, you understand? Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. It's like a new drug, you know? We can't live without. We can't, we can't. There are advantages of perspective because like I often uh, use uh, smartphones a lot because it's not uh, restricted. So like my eyes it very becomes very weak and uh, I think that it's a very bad thing. So if you restrict it, that, mm, yeah, they can manage it. So, like, yeah. My phone, I have it, but I don't use every one minute, two minute, three minute. But you have people, they don't put their phones in the pocket, you know, they, they use it, they 24 hours, they inside, play games. No, for that, I give a right to ban the phone. Okay, for that, yes. For school, you need to study uh, to work better for your diploma, to have better job for the later. That's it. Belgium is not the first to impose such a ban. France already banned smartphones in schools in 2018, with the Netherlands and Italy following suit. Several other countries, like Germany, are at least debating a ban. In China, we have already taken such actions okay. for like 10 years. Because they're thinking of doing that in the UK as well. Uh, and, and the same arguments where it's like, oh, should we take it off? Should we not take it off? We're taking away their liberty. We're not taking away, you know, but they need to learn. And so, yeah, there are similar debates in the UK. I think that there is a world for them open to open, without a mobile. And that's more contact with a man, as it has always been. Now it's only via the WhatsApp, or we even call them, or we do Instagram. Ja, ik heb zoiets van, mensen kijken toch eens wat meer om je heen, zie je ook wat er gebeurt om je heen. I was just checking to see if you've already clicked the like button and subscribed yet. But yeah, these things are distracting. Is it a distraction for you? No, but I do also think that's partly because I had that in my upbringing, the, the moderation. But when I'm with people, I'm not constantly on my phone. Then is my work, mark I'm not nervous. That's why I say kleine lockerte. I really try to put it physically away when I'm at work, so I can focus on work. Otherwise, little moments when I want to be distracted, I look for my phone, and that's uh, taking away my flow. Actually, I think they should ban this in the office too. I often went for lunch with colleagues and didn't have anyone to talk to because everyone is buried in their phones. Adults aren't that much better with their phones, eh? Uh, do you use your smartphone a lot yourself? I do, yes, I do. Yes, too much. Of course, of course. Oh yeah, I yeah. use a lot. Uh, uh, too far, yeah. Yeah, often I like, use it on the on the train a lot. Every day for my work, for my family. Not echt uh, extreem. Nee, wij komen er geen raadje dat het nog niet zo in was, zeg maar. Dus liever niet. Van social media ben ik zo wel de laatste tijd aan het afstappen. It's not just for socializing. I also use it for studying, especially during exams. I'm always on my phone on the train, trying to use it, getting that last bit of information before the exam into my head. Uh, on an average, how much time do you think you spend on a day? Outside, not as often inside, I don't know, two or three hours a day, I suppose. I know that's, that's a lot or a little, but yeah. In China, you spend generally around seven hours a day. Maybe three hours or four hours, yeah. Yeah, what shall I say? Yeah, as I call the bell, then three, four hours. But privé, a day, a day. Yeah, I don't get more. Certainly not. Yeah, I definitely use it a lot. It's, it's the main piece of my life. I use it for communication, I use it for school, I use it for everything. I even use it for paying. I don't use my card anymore, I only use my phone. Per day, I think about an hour, but I think in reality it's about maybe two or maybe three. I try as wenig as possible. Zeker s'avonds na bepaald uur om om goed te kunnen slapen voor het blauw licht eigenlijk. Maar ik ik probeer te beperken tot maximaal twee uur per dag. Start using it for the random small things, but then I learned about the train effect that you start using it and you keep using it for other things, and then I see that I'm yeah trapped. Ik een half uurtje denk ik. Oh my. Meer niet. Uh, <laughs> ja, maar ik ben uh, geen just... mobiel mens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ik, ik hou niet van dus zo te kijken. Ik hou van dit. Yeah. Face to face. Dat is altijd het mooiste. Ja. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Can I ask you something? <laughs> yeah, What uh, will you do without smartphone? Oh, that will be hard. <laughs> so. we, are, we are on the same page. Yeah. Got me. Mm -hmm. How would you react if they would ban the smartphone at work as well? It will be hard 
But if it's uh, going a uh, few, few years like this, it's going to be normal. Get me? Op the werkvloer vind ik het een moeilijke. I think that might be going a bit too far because then you're supposed to be adults and you're supposed to be able to take a bit more care of yourself. Ik vind op mijn werk vind ik uh, het juist wel goed dat we het wel zouden doen. Nou, dan gaan die jongen ook eens een stapje harder werken. When you go to work, would you want your phone to be taken off you at work? I'm not sure, because you need to be able to trust your employees, don't you? And trust the integrity that you're not using your phone. Je moet bellen, je moet klanten bellen, je moet bereikbaar zijn. Want anders ben je niet zakelijk. Dat is dus zo ingeworteld. Ja, helemaal wegdenken kunnen we het nooit meer, denk ik. Het zit er gewoon in. I think we're going towards something like that, that people are aware that they shouldn't check their phone in general during meetings or having it during work next to them. Uh, je gaat er anders mee om, je bent veel serieuzer. En die anderen die, die doen maar wat, hebben over een bikini die ze gekocht hebben, heb je het gezien? En uh, dat soort dingen, dat ik denk van, gaat het niet? Weet je, we zijn aan het werk. Maar ja goed, weet je, dat, maar ik ben die oude generatie gewoon nog. You're not supposed to use your phone during work time, but your phone's like taken away from you. And of course, working from home is very hard to please. Working hybrid and online, my colleagues that I work with, work with it differently. I mean, I work from home. You know, sometimes yeah. I might look at my phone, but then I'm busy at work, of course, so not very often, but yeah. The most important thing is to talk about it. If you have a colleague who is checking on his phone, that's distracting anyway. So you should be able to feel confident, say, hey, can you put it away? Even though they say, yeah, I'm doing something for work, it's still distraction and it takes away the flow and focus of a good collaboration when you're working together. Do you think we need to even expand the band to universities? Certainly not, because most of our work must be done through phones or laptops. I can't remember the last time I went into a lecture and somebody was writing with pen and paper. It's always on their phone or on their laptop. Yeah, it's definitely not acceptable to ban those uh, digital devices. When I was in school, we had phones, but we were busy exchanging crazy frog ringtones or playing snake not engrossed in social media. I've noticed it's possible to follow up your screen time on your phone and oh my god, I think I agree with the ban. But why don't you tell me what you think in the comments below? Are mobile phones eating our kids' brains? Should we ban or embrace this technology in schools? This is Berkey Pavla, reporting from 